Hi everyone, and this week's devotions are going to be a little bit different. We're going to have the devotional grab bag that we sometimes have. Um, today's is going to be very different. Um, <laughs> some of you know that this story has really meant a lot to me. Now, okay, <laughs> this one's going to be weird. It's from a, it's, it's a small excerpt of an article by J. Vernon McGee. He was doing an introduction on the book of Zephaniah. And this, I thought, was very good and very, um, very much explains God's love and sometimes the trials that we have to go through. Now, I'm the kind of person that I like things all nice and happy and, you know, a nice, happy beginning and middle and end and nothing bad. But it's not often how life is, is it? You know, sometimes there are uh, very dark things. There, There's a dark side to things. Um, there's a lot of fascination these days with darkness or whatever. And it's like, not for me, there isn't. But this story really has, has ministered to me. And I hope you can see the significance of it. And I hope somehow it'll be a blessing to you. It's kind of morbid, <laughs> but I hope somehow it'll be a blessing. I want to read part of his little intro here. And I want to read the story. This is called The Dark Side of Love. And it's taken from a, a um, an article by... J. Vernon McGee. So here's our devotional for this Sunday, August 29th, 2021. Since there is so much judgment in this little book of Zephaniah, how can love be its theme? To find proof that love is its theme is like looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack. But I will illustrate my point by telling you a mystery story. This may seem to be a very peculiar way to begin a study of Zephaniah, but it is going to help us understand this little book. The title of my story is The Dark Side of Love. Okay, now here comes the story. Now, when I heard this, the the first part of it, I just like gasped inwardly like, oh no. But anyway, okay. There's a theme about which every believer should have a clear understanding if he is to walk in full assurance. It is the dark side of love, God's love. And in order to make this clear, perhaps I should brief you on a terrifying scene. It was late at night on a suburban area of one of our great cities in America. A child lay restless in her bed. A man with a very severe and stern look stealthily entered her bedroom and softly approached her bed. The moment the little girl saw him, a terrified look came over her face, and she began to scream. Her mother rushed into the room and went over to her, and the trembling child threw her arms about her. The man withdrew to the telephone, called someone who was evidently an accomplice, and in a very soft voice made some sort of arrangement. Hastily, the man re-entered the room, tore the child from the mother's arms, and rushed out to a waiting car. The child was sobbing, and he attempted to stifle her cries. He drove madly down street after street until he finally pulled up before a large, sinister, and foreboding-looking building. All was quiet. The building was partially dark, but there was one room upstairs ablaze with light. The child was hurriedly taken inside up to the lighted room and put into the hands of a man with whom the conversation had been held over the telephone. In turn, the child was handed over to another accomplice, this time a woman, and these two took her into an inner room. The man who had brought her was left outside in the hallway. Inside the room, the man plunged a gleaming, sharp knife into the vitals of that little child, and she lay as if she were dead. Your reaction at this point may be, I certainly hope they will catch the criminal who abducted the little girl and is responsible for such an awful crime. However, I have not described to you the depraved and degraded action of a debased mind. I have not taken a chapter out of a life of a man in cell 2455, death row. I have not related to you the sordid and sadistic crime of a psychopathic criminal. On the contrary, I have described to you a tender act of love. In fact, I can think of no more sincere demonstration of love. You see, that little girl had awakened in the night with severe abdominal pain. She had been subject to such attacks. It was her father who had rushed into the room. He had talked to the specialist about it, and when he saw the suffering of the little girl, he went to the telephone, called the family physician, and arranged to meet him at the hospital. He had rushed his little girl down to the hospital and had handed her over to the family physician. 
The doctor had taken her to the operating room and performed emergency surgery. Through it all, every move and every act of that father was of tender love, anxious care, and wise decision. I have described to you the dark side of love, but love nevertheless. The father loved the child just as much on that dark night when he took her to the hospital and delivered her to the surgeon's knife as he did the next week when he brought her flowers and candy. It was just as much of a demonstration of a deep affection when he delivered her into the hands of surgeon as it was the next week when he brought her home and delivered her into the arms of her mother. My friend, love places the eternal security and permanent welfare of the object of love above any transitory or temporary comfort or present pleasure down here upon this earth. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop there. Um, and I know that's kind of morbid or whatever, but it really um, speaks of sometimes God just, um, he, he knows what's best for us, and sometimes his best for us seems awful <laughs> to us as we're going through it. But it's his love. That, that and, and sometimes, you know, free will comes into play, too. You know, our choices that we make or other people's choices come into play as well. But God loves us through it. And I'm living proof that God truly does love each and every one of us. And every day he helps me, you know, through many different kinds of things. So um, I hope that somehow this story was a blessing to you as it was to me. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.